Hello, greetings. Uh, I was uh, just uh, telling someone, my brother, actually. I'm very, very worried for my brother, uh, other one. And uh, I'm getting threats. I feel a sensing that if you say anything and all that. So the month came to get my card renewed, you know, and I felt terrible in the shower also, going for my hair. Uh, the Someone like they're sending. If they want, they can control this. The shakes have all the money, but uh, they don't want to control this. So I'm afraid I have to say this now. My strength has left me. And I'm compelled. Uh, so I'm in an emergency state. I feel like I'm can't do anything. I'm, fin I'm very much finished uh, to a certain extent. And even in the shower, like they made me say that no, they told me a voice, and or they sent this uh, Pakistani man. They sent on Facebook, Tariq Masood, right, uh, telling me bad things about myself. And so I went, and now Mickey, they sent Mickey and all this, and they're not taking action. They, they really got me drained, uh, exhausted. Um, uh, so taxis also, behind taxis, someone is uh, giving me a hard time so that I wouldn't be able to go to get my card renewed or something started. And it is there, like, I miss, uh, they, I'm so obsessed now that they pull my strings. So I'm like a puppet. It feels this way, uh, that, oh. And my, le uh, my right uh, liver side hurts, and when I go for the x-ray or something, they say, no, nothing is wrong here, right? So I've seen in the hospital also. Um, like, uh, you know, they wouldn't recognize my picture. I asked my brother if uh, you recognize this picture of mine, if you can tell if it's me. He said that, of course, I can tell it's you. It is. looks like you. But although I was in a chalet in my, like, uh, different, you know, hairstyle, so maybe it didn't, uh, to that lady in the emergency who checks the blood pressure and this and that, right? So started to tell me like this your picture, and then she sent me to the to be checked uh, reception area instead of you know going for the heart check, ECG. What do you call it? Later on, this uh, the doctor said no, she must go for the ECG. Uh, so. You know, so I had to skip the ECG in the beginning, in the emergency. This is what they're doing. I have a strong feeling. So this is one of those days I'm going to speak out. I'm in an emergency. They ruined my relationship uh, here with my brothers, most. Uh, and uh, one, they've got really, like, down. Uh, you know, here, in uh, this place, uh, we fear, uh, we have this fear that our, you know, brothers and all, even the ladies would go, like the expats, too much clubbing and all this. So, you know, and since there is something on me, like I've been saying, we do the wrong things, not the right things, no matter how much I discipline myself. So, I feel a United Arab Emirates, someone behind this sheikh, giving me a hard time reinforcing this and keeping it my madness. I can't clean properly, I can't do anything properly. Once I'm out exhausted, I come back, I can't eat properly. Sometimes I can eat. You know, I haven't even made my meal or anything. Just having tea now, as I woke up, and did a little bit of ironing. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know what. Maybe uh, I'm. So you know, in the shower, like they're trying to get me e- extremely exhausted, and then they would like you know, you can come if mad people challenged mentally challenged can go to the hospital. Why can't you go to the hospital? But not when I take an appointment or have to go at a certain time. Uh, so I sent some uh, covert harassment. And uh, no, uh, no international NGO can help. No, and I'm fin like that. You know, half, much, more than half, I'm finished, right? So I didn't want to say this against United Arab Emirates, since they were financially helping me. But I'm scared if I do meditation all the time, this thing on me. So keeping myself busy with games, but you see, I get headaches, eyes hurt. I can't uh, do much games. I'm already very, very restless. It's uh, I sense, I'm not, I suspect that uh, some shakes are behind this. I'm not sure, uh, sure, uh, but you know the inference of, they can finish all like this uh, person, Tariq Masood coming again in my vision in the shower. And uh, like the shaykhs are watching me, but I still, you could say that I struggle to take a shower. And they say that, uh, they said that, <coughs> uh, you know, like uh, this thing, I don't think it's true because why would they come after me? I'm not even beautiful or anything. Now, uh, you know, teeth are gone, I'm not groomed well or anything and they're not feeling well, but they want to harass me. Like, they can get any girl, like, look at this, the one, right? Um, Recently, she was in Dubai, and uh, she's so beautiful and all this. Now, uh, the sheikhs can have as many girls as they want. You know, these are really tall and great, slim, and my stomach is out. And, uh, you know, because perhaps my liver, gastric problem, I don't know. And I am i don't have a height or anything. I'm natural, my hair, my skin is sagging, I'm old, uh, but still they want to harass me. And I'm insanely mad and driven to madness. Restless and all that. So they were saying that if we like someone, like, uh, you know, physical, even the faith. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I start to think what, but anyways, the, it came ke hum, hum pehle chakte hain. Like, we chase the woman first. Oh my God, it was so vulgar. Uh, you know, so very scared, like Loy Macedo. Okay, I don't want to talk about any other case like this, but uh, my mind was going wild one day when I watched Lord Macedo's video on his friend being uh, framed and no one helping him like from life pharmacy see I they uh, they framed him through a Pakistani so you know the worst was coming in my mind I don't want to see it like now they're sending this energy on my uh, for, uh, yeah and uh, plus I don't know like you would say how do you then play ping pong or some games on and you have the strength and I have the strength to concentrate or pay attention don't ask me because uh, I don't know how this happens. Uh, you would think that I would have to get up. Like there's so much sand out and all this. Here I dust, you know, I need to clean. My hair falls a lot. Uh, but I can't. 
So once in a blue moon, like I can do some ironing, like I did, and now I'm extremely tired. And I'm really scared they're going to get my other brother. And uh, I really don't didn't want to take financial help. It's better to be. It's terrible when you you know the shakes and all the contrast. Uh, it's been terrible. And I can't walk much, and I have hemorrhoid. What do you call it? That problem, you see? They make me walk, and you know, taxi even stop for me. I get headaches and all that. Thank God the uh, weather was good, though it was windy. But even then, I get headaches. I don't know. Really, it's like my bones are all. And the pain is there, but slightly, like always, it's a, a long term. And I feel like I can't even in the, you know, talk to someone here, like in Karachi, even though there's no law and order. That's why I told my brother recently again that I want to go back to Karachi. I don't know where to go. Uh, so if they get this brother of mine, then. You know, he helps in uh, paying for it because, you know, you need a bank account. So, for my rent and all this, right? So, if they get, so uh, today I just told my brother and I realized that I made a mistake telling him because they can get my brother to and delay people. Um, And uh, so it's very strange things happening. Like I got the COVID test done because the building didn't, government building didn't, doesn't allow me. But you know, later on I was so scared that what if they give me COVID? I can't trust anyone here. And, uh, oh, like, uh, last year in the same building we could go in without COVID and now that COVID is getting finished it's coming near to finishing but they wouldn't allow me to they wouldn't even allow me to call the department head so that I could say look I'm not feeling well can you get my card renewed because the law is the law, strict. So although the test has come negative, I don't know. I'm feeling kind of strange. So I can't trust anyone. And we're in emergency. Maybe they could, uh, you know, get me in the jail and rape me or this is the way they torture people I heard from the back and and they throw food on the ground Lord Matsuto spoke about it what a tragedy what if they wanted to okay I'm going to like you know what if they wanted like this suppose if you know they want a woman and she's married and she's beautiful, they could get her husband jailed or somewhere, you know, and then rape her. Like they've been trying to, there's a psychic rape on me, assault, sexual assault here, like bad things and all. And when they want me to say bad things, then bad words also increase. But the madness is, uh, there, is here. <clears throat> and if I go into their hospitals, I can't trust anyone. Like today, the COVID test. <laughs> I was very, very scared. Later on, oh, I came back thinking, what if they want me to get COVID or something? You know? And the people are everywhere, the spies. And all. I mean, you cannot imagine how much they control the world with them. They've got lots of money. So I was very, very scared. Suspicions, uh, very strong suspicions. 
So now I'm feeling kind of feverish. Okay. I didn't get the COVID jab, but the swab test, which you have to do now. Last year, no. But this year, yes. For the government building to enter it. And they wouldn't even take my call. They would say, "What does she, who does she think she is, right? They are mentally challenged. My cousin, uh, the others are physically challenged. My cousin works, even though she's physically challenged and all that. And who, who do I, uh, who, what do I think? You know, this is the thinking, that, like, what, who does she think she is? That we give her special treatment? something like this, right? And then they could have me raped or something through a Pakistani or in jail also in prison. I'm very, very scared here. You know, Loi Masito mentioned that Charger Stadium owner, like when he took his ma mother, when his mother took him when he was little, young, young boy. She had some work there. And you know what he did? Blue Mexico told her, oh my God, I can't think. So I feel I'm assaulted. Like, you know, the shales, any one of them can come. Or if an Arab likes you, you can't say no. I don't know what it is here. I'm not, like, I haven't lived with the full here in UAE. 10 years, but it, uh, I don't know. You know, if, if they like some woman or something, Let's suppose if they like someone's wife, right? Could they frame this guy for something and put him in jail and then start to rape that poor woman? You know, and she be blackmailed. Raped and blackmailed. What extent they, they can go to here in the United Arab Emirates, I don't know. So I'm very, very scared. Oh yes, and I have to like my family out there, I don't talk to my aunts or anyone. And uh, this cousin of mine, she said she'll help me, but no. Didn't hear back from her. If, uh, you know, I asked if uh, she could get, see, uh, she told me herself actually that she knows people. Uh, in Abu Dhabi, and maybe I was like, no, no, it's okay. But then I didn't get an answer from her. Uh, right? Uh, she works in the police department here in Dubai. But she said she knew some people. And that, because I said I need that card. You know, if I could get, so the taxis won't harass me if I show that card, that I'm mentally challenged. But it doesn't work here for she just said that actually it only works to give you a discount in the supermarkets, grocery stores. So, you know, like if I'm in line and I'm restless and I forget things and then I just go get one thing and I'm very, very restless. So I, like in Carrefour it happened once, right? That I was very, very restless. I told the lady, Hindu lady or this Indian lady was behind me. I said, please, I just need to get one thing. And then if you could reserve, can I come back here in front of you? She said, yes, yes. I went and then these two men came and one was an Egyptian and one was from a Tajikistan or somewhere. They gave me such a problem. Like, you know, why break the rule or something? Maybe the uh, camera saw it or, you know, maybe they sent someone, they sent another Pakistani in Shalwar Kameez walking. When it was COVID, he came through that uh, uh, place where we were, you know, these, uh, what do you call it, in the supermarket? And he touched, he again, like it's so going, you know, I was talking to a sales lady and uh, so they do these things to harass people. And the sales lady even in Carrefour supermarket just looked at him like, how could you walk through us like this? It's COVID and you should keep a distance. Uh, and 
and uh, so things like this happening have been happening here with me and I don't know now you know the general environment is that uh, the Emiratis, if you have a family and if you have money, then you are okay. Because money talks, money walks, money, all this, right? But if uh, if if you offend a sheikh or something, I don't know. Like, you know about Princess Latifa. I couldn't stop but share on my Facebook. And when we find out she's okay, I also sh- share that that the UN, United Nations, <coughs> and uh, you know what happened to the uh, Sheikh Muhammad's wife, uh, the, they got divorced and all this. So, something, I don't know, like uh, the, I was told the people in Britain are rude and all this. You know, rude, so, um, like, you know, uh, they will tell you I am rude. I think too much of myself. So they've got me. And I'm thinking, no, no, uh, there's some humanity here. If I appeal to the sheikh, some decent sheikh, sound mind, uh, I mean sensible, caring, clement. But I'm very, very scared here. No, I don't see it. Because all I see is delays and waiting and uh, they don't someone doesn't come on time and uh, has a thing that uh, uh, delays and all this and suspicions are growing growing and against the sheikhs here also the dubai sheikh so i'll be finished i'm finished you see because against the dubai sheikh and what can they do not only finish, I'm, I'm not worried about they can kill me. But you know how they torture you? Uh, you know, right? <laughs> so, uh, this is my way of saying it. So, you know, it is terrible. It's, uh, why are they after this? So, I don't, like, now I'm putting this video out. And they can use any person, Egyptian, Pakistani, Turkey, Turkish, anyone, anyone, American, like David Wood, right? You see that lady? Who will listen to uh, Indian? We are, you know, even I have uh, grown, I'm out of shape. I just sit and eat and this. Sometimes with this life, and and the fear is constantly there. And there's a block here. Uh, so you know, Pakistan. Shame on Pakistan uh, for not being able. They they can't even help their kojas in these Shias, uh, Punjabis Shias, or any Shias in Pakistan. They couldn't even help, uh, and became and sold so easily to these people, right? Sheikh ke chamche and uh, not finished their country, finished, ruined. So on one hand, Pakistan is not, is a failed state, is not capable of helping me here as, huh, I have to appeal to, and then they say, America, I have to appeal to like, Israel, please kill me. America, if you don't want to help me, please kill me now. Because, you know, izzat uh, are, are the same. Although they put their women, we say, on display and ads and all this, and they're sleeping, they don't go after. Uh, they can help people. They also reach out to people, Americans and uh, United Nations. If America is the superpower and they, uh, the Arabs are angry at them, and so are the Pakistani Muslims, think of any Pakistani who, who can reach out who is not sold to the United Arab Saab, Sheikh Ji, Sheikh Saab. You can't talk like the Ar- Arif Ajakia was saying that you, you, we, we can only appeal. Sheikh Saab, you have 
बेटी का लाइक सत्यानाश कर दिया बट यू हैव टू से शेख साहब यू हैव टू से क्राउन प्रिंस योर हाइनेस वी अपील टू यू अमीर ऑफ दुबई अमीर ऑफ यूनाइटेड अरब एमरेट्स आई हैव हर्ड दैट यू आई योर एक्सेलेंसी राइट सो इवन दो योर डॉटर मे बी और योर सिस्टर और योर वाइफ योर नॉट नोइंग सी आई डी कमिंग taking in the behind what happening you know action changing jerad whoever wrote this oh. people after money so much money so many things near ah uh, city of emirates glitter and gold and so please don't sell us your excellency my life that person's life friend you know of loy masido you don't know one day the law is that 23 years jail then someone commenting there on law matito that uh, you're lying it can't be 23 years in drugs in ua what the jail 7 years jail 23 years jail and that poor guy want to take revenge what is a uh, drugs uh, if you find harm how in you what is the punishment really jail now look a country strictly prohibits the sale and trafficking of drugs these people will say this uh, sabari is drugs i am in it they will come after me drugs and controlled medicines and how many years in jail god knows really so <clears throat> okay they're getting me four years four years in jail so there were comments there under loy masito the new drug laws cut sentences okay otherwise it was how many 10 years minimum fine and <clears throat> so all the time lot but that poor guy this poor guy long message talks about 23 years in jail and they call they say loy you are lying why are you lying i don't know why you had to lie who is under duress what but he make himself a liar we can't tell so uh on one hand you know majburi I wish I was working really here I uh people have been sexually assaulted here at work also or going for interviews very very scary this care I rape and all this uh, you know covert uh, that law and order out of order in Pakistan lawlessness but uh, you know I knew my way in Karachi I left there so I don't know what's going on here. Like, uh, what is this really human rights? Uh, I thought court. You know, I came here thinking, oh God, uh, the Arabs will never, um, like, at least they won't take bribes. Like, Arabs are known to be, you know, not to be sold, like Pakistanis, very quickly. And if you make an Arab. your brother then you know it is they you can trust them i don't know where those days are gone 
but it is so sad to see these cases are very very sad i want to die and also not working here uh, i want to die like i wish i was to see all these things muslims are doing you know they don't they have law and god knows but you know that case lapsed uh, Loy Macedo spoke about his friend. They framed uh, the drug on him. That's what he told Loy Macedo. And uh, there's an, another Emirati who wanted to put Loy Macedo. I could not even, I just said, enough. I've had enough now. But I can't, went uh, searching for human rights violations and how in the UAE, mm. Until I said, I really, we can't do anything, who's Ahmed? I mean, this Ahmed Mansoor discusses human rights abuse. Uh, so, and another one, a lady, female activist, subjected to severe human rights violations in the UA prison, Princess Latifa, Sheikh Mohammed's daughter. You know, what is this? This is extremely sad. Oh. Human rights violations in Saudi Arabia. But uh, please, the, that the Quran Prince of Saudi Arabia now, listening, bringing reform, and giving some freedom. And who are the men to... Muslim men to give freedom. They decide for the women. Women should decide. They should be in the uh, uh, this thing. What is uh, this? Council, Shura. You know, women should also be there if they are. If they can cover themselves. Oh God. Men deciding in the Shura, Islamic countries about women, what they should do and what they shouldn't do. And uh, God knows where it comes from. My friend in UAE got jailed for 25 years, not even 23. I personally know him and he is innocent. Law ambassador. God knows what this is. But one thing about uh, his uh, the sexual assault case on the Sheikh, I tell him, no, Loy Masito, you are wrong. If this Sheikh is a Kashmiri, right, who was made, I don't, I have no idea why he looks like. Maybe it is my, uh, but since the same, maybe it is a, a, a suspicion. Anyways, I don't see. I don't want to trouble Sheikhs or give any humiliate them or anything. To tell you very honestly, I'm just speaking my heart out that uh, I don't trust anyone. How can this lapse happen here? When if certain places, certain things are very strict, then Sheikh Ahmad is responsible for the police force here, security and protection. And uh, how this happening lapse, uh, who am I to say this? I'm just. Uh, I'm an oppressed feeling for the people and myself, right? Why ladies, uh, you torture like this? What will torture? It is just our weakness. Torture is uh, probably, you know, like a Prophet Muhammad want to do. And he really, I tortured, yeah? <laughs> so uh, it is long term, what do you call that, chronic or the other? Uh, Torture, traumatized. Please, I cannot uh, stop this. Although, um, very, very, I, I see, I don't use uh, India, Jai Hind. I'm Radharani, but I don't want to say this. Sending all my love, blessings, Jai Radhe. Whoever wrote this, and I was listening to Paramahamsa Vishwananda singing. Which lady wrote this? Who was crazy after 
So I check here, but they don't say who wrote this uh, kirtan for. So even India cannot help me. Jai Radhe, Jai Krishna, Jai Vrindavan, Rasika Makutamani, Jai Gopigan. So this uh, I feel because uh, you know this uh, I not want any copyright infringement Paramahamsa Vishwananda I spoiled you know largely of God thinking I'm Ra <laughs> I am Radharani Jaya Radhe so I looked down because you see they remind me that uh, someone not after money but uh, just really so sincere devotee of Radharani yes really well, there are Swamiji's sitting in the Himalaya why should they help the city people because you see even Imam Ali say I try to go and help someone but he refused I fail because and then what happened I realized there's God in this also anyways what Imam Ali say many things against women right women's goodness of so Psalm and there really this crazy stuff going on now I find crazy verses and when I go out on the road I see who cares but for us, religion first. Who cares? But when the money come, and when stomach empty, and when you want to save your, yeah. But the, you know, Himalaya masters, we should have mastered our stomach. So here, you know, she she say, this a lady say. Main to hoon vahi sachari radha rani ki Main to hoon vahi sachari radha rani ki See, it, uh, say that it's a female write this for radha rani Main to hoon vahi sachari If a male write this, main to hoon vahi sachari it does sound like female write this, I'm not sure. But if male write this, then male devotee of Radharani, then it would have been a little bit Main to hoon, Main to hoon, Main to hoon, Main to hoon, Vahi sachari. Okay, maybe male, female, both unisex. Radharani ki, Main to hoon, Vahi sachari, Radharani ka. Oh, female devotee, when God knows when she write for me. Jaya Radhe, Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Rasika Mukutmani, Jaya Gopigan, Jaya Radhe. Jaya Krishna, Jaya Vrindavan, Rasika Makutamani, Jaya Gopigan. Radhe 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 Sham, Radhe Radhe Sham Sham, Radhe Sham Yugalam Nam, Mero Hai I wrong wrong sorry let me see if it's coming uh, sorry I'm getting a message uh, I have to check for a man some uh, really I need to say everything here Parmaham Sasri Swami Vishwananda Master I come back complete this thank you so much